Okay, you asked for it and you're going to get it. It's your PIP tip of the week. And of course, PIP is picture in picture and this is for Adobe Premiere Elements. Pay attention, folks. Okay, to get started on this, we're basically going to go up to File and Get Media From files and folders because I have a couple things that I'm going to be dropping in to this and just going to the drop down menu to video which is where I keep my folders and marketing and here I have a couple different PIP files and uh, I'm going to grab one of those open it and that file is right up here and I will take that file and hit my shift key, hold that down, and drag this file right over here. And then I'm going to get this window that says insert after this scene, split and insert, place on top, or picture in picture. And I'm going to select picture in picture, and it's going to drop that right there and I'm going to be able to drag that where I want or resize it and uh, that's pretty much it now I have a second file I'm going to be putting in here and that's going to be from the same location so I'm doing the same thing get media from files and folders it's going to automatically go back where I was at and uh, I have a second pip file that I'm throwing in there and that's this pip avi I'm going to open throw that in and this is going to be the other one that I'm dragging in now the one thing you're going to want to think about here oh, I didn't hit shift there so it went down there so I'm going to go down here and delete that now I'm going to go up here figure out where I want that to go in so I'm looking at my timeline here and I'm going to move this marker where I want it which is right about there and that's where it's going to drop in. So I'm going to, again, I'm going to go up here. I'm going to left click and hold it down after I press the shift key. And that's going to drag that in. And I'll drop it. Select picture in picture. And there we go. And that's pretty much all there is to picture in picture. If you want to uh, extend where this is at. Now right here is this AVI file. And uh, that file was actually longer than my video. Okay, so here. there it was. That's picture in picture. Pretty simple. I think you probably could have figured that one out on your own. If you go to the help button in Adobe Premiere Elements, it explains a lot of stuff. They have a search function right there, and uh, that's pretty much all I did. I just looked at that and showed me how to do it. It's pretty simple uh, click and drop. If you have any other questions that aren't answered by Adobe Help, uh, just let me know. Thanks.